Well, I'm bisexual. Um, I've always kept it to myself. Um, I was aware of it from when I was about 10 years of age. It was just a, a gut feeling that I wasn't the same as everybody else. Well, I was living a lie, but I always made sure I never did anything illegal. I was very careful who I went out with. I was very careful what I said, because the slightest thing you say wrong, and you'd have the special investigation branch shadowing you, reading your letters. But I was convinced that I could lead my life and play along with the, the game. from religion, gender to skin color, the complexion of your pigment, the same fight that led people to walkouts and sit-ins, it's human rights for everybody, there is no difference, live on and be yourself, I don't know. And I can't change, even if I tried, even if I wanted to. Everyone else is more comfortable remaining voiceless rather than fighting for humans that have had their rights stolen. I might not be the same, but that's not important. No freedom till we're equal. Damn right I support it. I was told in uncertain terms that disgusting people like me, there was no place for them in the armed forces. today. I was in the Navy for just under 18 years. I joined up in 1976. I had a fantastic time. However, in my basic training, it became evident within a couple of weeks that they didn't accept gays. And if anybody was caught, they'd be kicked out immediately. It certainly came as a shock to me. Here they were telling me that I wasn't good enough, or not personally, but anybody of my you know, nature. I've looked through this for years, I haven't. Yeah, this is all, all the uh, the guys who I used to work with. Yeah, they were a good bunch of lads, they were, and girls. Well, I'm bisexual. Um, I've always kept it to myself. Um, I was aware of it from when I was about 10 years of age. It was just a, a gut feeling that I wasn't the same as everybody else. Well, I was living a lie, but I always made sure I never did anything illegal. I was very careful who I went out with. I was very careful what I said, because the slightest thing you say wrong, and you'd have the special investigation branch shadowing you, reading your letters. But I was convinced that I could lead my life and play along with the, the game. Thank you. 
it was just a trumped up charge. What they said is that I'd got into bed with this guy and I'd touched the side of his thigh and that's all there was to it. In the end, I was found not guilty of this charge, but like most charges, they always throw in a, a second one, which is conduct prejudicial to good order and naval discipline. And I was found guilty of the, this charge. Well, straight afterwards, they took me to a, a room and a, an SA, that's a store's assistant, came in with a pair of scissors. I said, sorry, mates, I need this medal and just cut it off my tunic. Um, he left me with my Northern Ireland medal and my Falklands medal. But in 12 years, I'd had an unblemished history. And yet all that hard work I'd put in uh, meant nothing. The day I was discharged, I went back home. I'm sat in an empty house. I had no friends down there because all my friends were in the armed forces. So I had no one I could talk to. I felt so lonely and isolated, it was unbelievable. I had no money coming in. I had a mortgage hanging round my neck. Um, and I didn't know which way to turn. You know, in the end, I resulted going into farmer's fields and nicking potatoes and cabbages. So it, it took its toll on me and I ended up something like £15,000 in debt. And it took me up to 10 years to sort my life out. I appealed against it. At least I wanted my medal back and my badges and my rank. In the end, as a wider a scope, because had they not discharged me, I'd have got a full pension. Now, given that they dismissed me, it meant that I had to wait a further 17 years before I got a reduced pension. I don't want compensation. All I want is what justly is mine. I've been fighting now for 25 years, since 1993. My way of thinking is until my very last breath. I'll, I'll fight them because it's a just cause um, and I'm not going to give in to them. I will get the medal back, trust me. I'll, that or else I'll snuff it. Well, I've had several girlfriends and several boyfriends, if you can call them that, but none of them ever seemed to work. You know, I'd like nothing better than to be married, have a couple of kids jumping on top of me, you know, ripping my hair out of my head. You know, I'd, I'd love that, I would, but unfortunately, it's not to be. No, I can't explain it. It's, it's not the people's fault who I've been with, it's my fault, because I cannot accept it. I know I am bisexual, um, but I, I don't know. It's very difficult. So rather than go with anybody else now, I've resigned myself. I'm going to be an old, old man with no lovers or anything like that, you know.